Hi, this is Stephen Blair from Arnold Support. And in this video, I'm just gonna take a quick look at how to use operators to override the materials on a procedural. So I've already got something set up here. I have a, a procedural that's loading an ASS file, which is a robot. And down here in the parameters, I can see the content. So what is in that ASS file? What, what polygon meshes are in there? And I can see they're actually grouped into two groups, color one and color two. So basically, um, for this example, I'm just going to assign two different materials to uh, these groups of uh, objects. So I can see the names. So if I do need to be select them by name, I, I know what they are. Um, so that's pretty handy. Anyway, so in order to do that, I want to connect a procedural, uh, sorry, connect an operator to the procedural. And that's what I use this select operator for, uh, which is currently empty because first I have to go in the operator graph so let me move it over, put in a procedural, and now that's going to be listed here. So yeah, that's what I want to use on this, everything that's inside this ASS file that I'm loading through the procedural. And the advantage of connecting it directly to the procedural instead of, um, instead of not doing that is that it's, it works within the namespace of the procedural. So I don't have to worry that the real hierarchy is slash procedural 001 slash robot slash color two. I can just work with the names that I see here in the content. And also it's, so it's easier. It's contained and it's linked to the, to the uh, procedural. So once I got the setup, what do I need? I want to, as I said, override the uh, shaders. So I just need a few set parameters. And the selection, uh, as I said, I'm just going to override two groups, one material to each group. So uh, robot slash color one. And I'm just going to put an asterisk because I want everything that's under there. You can see there's quite a lot. So I'm not going to be fussy. All of them are going to get this, the same material. A shader equal. Um, but actually, before I do that, I like to check that I've got the right uh, selection expression. So let's just disable this for now. Do a quick uh, test render. So I'm going to set up. I'll use Active Shade Render. OK, so there's my robot. So Let's make sure I got thing, this selection right. So I'm just going to do a quick test by setting visibility equals zero, which is going to make everything in color one, hopefully, invisible to camera rays from Arnold. So just remember to enable that. Oh, I need my render setup again. Render it. It doesn't seem like I got it right. So what did I do wrong? There, I need that slash. So, you know, when you're not sure about your selection, you need to do a quick test like this. Uh, so let's get down to what I really want to do, which is to assign a shader. And I do have a bunch of shaders already in the scene that I can use. Um, I actually exported these from Maya and then imported them with this. And so they're all created here. So I have black and chrome. Um, I think this, that's, I'm going to put Chrome. So the name is Chrome. So the name that I have to use here is slash Chrome. Because the uh, the names that are given to Arnold are always using slashes. So if you're at the top level, you're not in a hierarchy, or you're just a material, it's going to be slash, something like slash Chrome. So let's see what we get from that. Yeah, it looks a little shinier. Yeah. So Let's add another set parameter and this time we're going to do color two. So just copy paste to add expression. Come on, shader equal slash. Let's make sure the name is just called black. Yeah, so there we do it. We got that done. So I've actually applied shaders to everything in that ASS file using this operator. And I used a wildcard to select everything and I checked the name so I knew I'm doing right. And I guess the last thing I should mention is that in order to be able to use these shaders with the operator, 
they have to be exported to Arnold. And to be exported to Arnold, they have to be assigned to something. Um, so basically, so let me hide this stuff. I cheated. Well, I didn't cheat. I mean, it's the only way to do it. Um, I put in a bunch of spheres. Where'd they go? There they are. Excuse me. So all my materials are assigned to them. So I left them in a site where you could place where you could see them for now, but you know I could either hide them or actually set Arnold properties so they're invisible to most rays, move them out of the way, um, but that will get my materials exported. And I could also you know assign these red, yellow, different colors to my robot. Uh, but that's it in just a little over five minutes, well almost six minutes now, um, connecting an operator to procedural and overriding shaders in 3ds Max. Thanks for watching.